Hello folks, my name is Marwick and I'm here to take you through a fast track video of how to set up your brand new QB core server. Now this is assuming that you have a VPS Windows based server, a dedicated Windows based server, or a home computer or work computer um, that's Windows based. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is you want to download a program called WinRAR. You want to then install it. The next thing you want to do is you want to download XAMPP. You want to go ahead and install that as well. Now what this program does, it basically installs a database called MySQL, which allows you to store data and also interact with data. So once you have this installed, you want to make sure that you click these buttons here. What this will do is this will install these services as startup services within Windows. So if you ever have to reboot your computer, you're not freaking out because you're clicking your startup for your server and it doesn't start up because the database isn't started up. So always make sure that you click these buttons and that they're green. Now also, when you first install this, you're going to click start on these two and you'll see that these turn green. Then you're going to click admin on my PHP, my SQL. This page is going to come up. This is a my PHP admin. This allows you to interface with a database and be able to make a database and to work within that database over a web browser. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on databases. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a database called Metro RP2. And we hit create. That's done. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and head over to the 5m.net ultimate easy setup guide. Now we're only gonna need two things from this setup guide. The first thing is this visual C++ update. You download that and install it. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to this artifact server. Now, let me explain artifact server versus QB core. An artifact server is a 5M server. It's called an FX server. That is like the foundation for QB core. Okay. And they call that an artifact server. So when you click there, you're going to see all these numbers. All you have to do is go up here and say latest recommended and you want to download that. Now, once that's downloaded, go to your C drive or whatever folder you want and make a folder. In this case, I call it Metro RP2. Then what you want to do is you want to go over to your download folder and you want to click on the server WinRAR package. And this is the artifact. All that you do is highlight everything, drag it over. Once that's done, you can close that. You want to scroll down to where you see FX server. When you start that, this is a web interface called TX Admin for FX server that allows you to easily monitor and administrate your server over a web page. Now, you're obviously going to have to put in your 5M ID here. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to link that. In this case, I'm already linked. And then it's going to ask you to go ahead and make a temporary password. And you're going to put that in. Now we start on the server setup itself. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and name this server. So we're going to say this is Metro RP2. The next thing we want to do is now when we go to deployment type, we're going to go to remote URL template. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the CFXRE web page and we're going to grab this easy setup URL. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to head back over to TX admin. We're going to paste that. You want to make sure you don't have any spaces here. I believe I have a space at the start. I do. Next thing we do, we hit next. 
the thing to understand here is FX server is going to be in one folder and QB core is going to be in another folder. Okay, so this is just telling you this is where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put QB core after I download it. You said save. Done. And now all we do is hit deploy. This is going to go ahead and give you a long string of downloads. And what it's just done is downloaded the whole iteration and updated version of QB Core. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to hit next. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is a license key. Now, there's a few license keys out there offered by 5M. You have a free license key, which limits you to 32 players. And on top of that, you cannot run custom close and you do not have the availability of a service called OneSync. So what is OneSync? Well, for larger servers, you want to be able to run custom close. And not only that, but you want to be able to allow some of the rendering of the game to come from 5M itself instead of your server. So we're gonna go ahead and click there. And what we're gonna do is it's gonna bring us over here. Now, once you log in, you make an account. We wanna go ahead and copy our key. Then we're gonna head back over here. And we're gonna paste that. You don't have to touch anything else here if you don't want to accept the database name because we already made Metro RP2. Next thing we do is we hit run recipe. All right, we are done running the recipe and now TX admin has actually downloaded everything and has created a new folder called QB core framework. And it also gives you the version here. Let me just minimize that. Now we're going to scroll down. Now we go to next. This is your server configuration. Uh, you will be working with this a lot in the future. This basically tells FX server what you have service-wise and resources that you want to turn on and off in the server. So when it starts up, it knows what to look for. And all we do is scroll down to the bottom and hit save and run. Now, the first time the server runs, what it's going to do is it's going to go and grab some updates and some other services in order to be able to run QB Core. Once it's complete, we're going to go ahead and restart the server. Okay, now it's done 24 seconds. Now all we do is hit restart again. And we're going to confirm that. Two things. This is warnings. These are not errors. So do not freak out. This will not break your server at all. All that this is telling you is that a service was kind of slow at talking to this table in your database. Two, if you get a pop-up error here, it's because you put in the wrong key. 
if you put the wrong key in, it will have a pop-up and the server will not start. So all that you do is head back over here, recopy this, make sure that you then go back over here to your TX admin, go configuration editor, and you want to update your key right here, SV license key. Hit save. And then we're going to go back to live console and then hit restart again and confirm. Well, folks, that's pretty much it. We have just installed the brand new iteration of the world famous framework for 5M Cubus. And this is QB Core.